Calumet City Police continue to search for three suspects who shot a jewelry store security guard during a robbery yesterday. Today we are learning more about that man killed from the heartbreak from his sister. Eric Rung is live at the Calumet City Police Station with more So, So Sad, Eric. Yeah, extremely heartbreaking. And the security guard sister told me this morning that her brother was an Army vet, was a huge Bears fan, and loved his family. Nearly 24 hours after police shut down River Oaks Mall, what happened inside still doesn't feel real for those hit hardest by the news. 57-year-old security guard Norman Thomas was shot and killed during a robbery. I yeah. talked to the officer and I keep wanting him to call me and say it's mistaken identity and that's not going to happen. That's Norman's sister, Angelique Thomas. She lives out of town. We spoke by phone this morning. He was always the one that wanted to make everybody feel safe. He loved his family. Norman was posted up outside a jewelry store in the mall when three suspects opened fire. All of a sudden, I, I looked up from my phone and all you could hear was like five or more shots. Tanya Davis was getting her nails done. The owner was telling me like, stay low, don't get up. And then he was like, call 911 and I called 911. In the minute it took police to arrive, the suspects had already smashed the jewelry store's display cases, grabbed what they could and were gone. Norman was on the mall floor. Emergency workers did what they could to try and save him. He did not deserve that. And it hurts to see that on the news where they just ambushed him and shot him and walked over him like he was nobody. And he served his country. He loved his family and he tried to keep us all safe. Norman's sister says her brother was the oldest of five, father of two daughters, and the grandfather to three with another on the way. He served in Desert Storm, worked for a railroad company for years, and finally security at the mall. He was just a loving person, and, and he had such a big heart. He had a heart so big you could fit the universe in it. Now, people who were inside the mall when the shooting happened say that the suspects were able to get away so quickly because that jewelry store is located near one of the mall's exits. The mall is closed today, and it is unclear when it will reopen. We're live in Calumet City. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.